How tech giants are secretly fighting for control of the future. What if I told you there's a war happening, right now one that doesn't use bullets or bombs, but algorithms and data? Something unusual occurred in a quiet London office in early 2014. Google purchased a little-known business called DeepMind, a group of researchers preoccupied with developing true artificial intelligence for roughly 500 million. To the public, it appeared to be another upstart acquisition. However, in Silicon Valley's boardrooms, it caused shockwaves. Behind the scenes, a hidden bidding battle had begun. Google, Facebook, and others recognized that DeepMind was more than just another tech firm. It was critical to the future of machine intelligence. Google won the auction, but they didn't simply buy a firm. They bought the future of intelligence itself. As Wired later reported, that transaction marked the first shot in a new type of conflict, one fought with algorithms, data, and computer power rather than army. AI ceased to be a laboratory curiosity and instead became a weapon of global corporate warfare. To understand this covert struggle, consider the three primary battlefields, talent, infrastructure, and ecosystems. Consider generals dispatched spies to lure away enemy forces. That is essentially what happens to AI engineers. The world's greatest machine learning scientists are vying for a limited number of positions. Meta has been secretly poaching engineers from OpenAI and Apple, offering multi-million dollar compensation packages. Microsoft, Google, and Anthropic all employ similar talent strike forces. The argument is simple. Just a few hundred people worldwide fully understand how to develop large-scale AI systems. Hiring one can mean the difference between leading the industry and falling behind indefinitely. One businessman told CNBC, if I'm spending a billion dollars on training a model, 10 million on an engineer is nothing. Every defection, hiring deal, and new lab announcement is like a troop movement on this invisible battleground. AI is more than simply software. It is built on infrastructure, massive data centers, rare processors, and vast amounts of training data. That's where NVIDIA emerged as the new superpower. Its GPUs are the nuclear reactors of modern AI. And its dominance is so complete that countries have begun antitrust investigations to keep it from becoming unstoppable. Meanwhile, Google has its own hardware TPUs and a vertical stack spanning chips, data, and distribution. It owns Android phones, YouTube, Search, as well as the cloud infrastructure used to train and deploy models. That's not simply handy, it's strategic control. Whoever controls the chips and servers controls the war supply line. Without computation, your amazing algorithms are only theory. The final battlefield is ecosystem dominance, which entails controlling the platforms on which everyone depends. Microsoft invested billions in OpenAI, providing it an early advantage with ChatGPT and seamless integration into Office, Windows, and Azure. Google responded with Gemini, which integrated AI into every Google product. Amazon invested billions of dollars in Anthropic with the goal of bringing next generation models to AWS. Open AI versus Google versus Microsoft is the most visible frontline. Microsoft's early cooperation with OpenAI provided it an advantage, but Google's Gemini is pushing back hard. Elon Musk's startup XAI has just sued Apple and OpenAI, accusing them of cooperation and monopolistic behavior. Amazon invested $4 billion in Anthropic, not just for a relationship, but also to avoid being locked out of the next generation of artificial intelligence. Governments are starting to see the threat of a few businesses controlling global intelligence. Microsoft even informed the EU that Google's chip data advantage provides it an unfair advantage. Each of these skirmishes reshapes the AI landscape, even if the headlines do not necessarily say war. This isn't just a technological contest. It's a war for control over knowledge itself. Whoever wins the AI war determines what these systems know, what information they can access, and how that intelligence is used. Assume that one company's AI assistant becomes the default interface for billions of people. That company would not only answer your queries, but also change your thinking. Let's discuss tactics. On 2025 alone, big tech companies will invest $190 billion on AI initiatives. That exceeds the GDP of certain countries. Bonuses, stock, and luxury benefits. Engineers are being pursued like superstars. Companies that own chips, data, and devices have complete control. Google and Apple are excellent examples. Every product now has AI inside, from photo editors to virtual assistants. Lobbying to change AI safety regulations and ensure rules benefit incumbents. This is not innovation. It is conflict disguised as progress. If you had to choose the front runners, here's the scorecard. The wartime armaments trader. Every model, 
from GPT-4 to Gemini, relies on NVIDIA CPUs. Google has a significant data advantage, world-class infrastructure, and AI in all products. Microsoft and OpenAI offer an early mover advantage, enterprise integration, and financial strength. Every war contains wildcards. Several aspects of the AI battle stand out. Projects such as Alama and Mistral have the potential to democratize AI, posing a threat to huge tech monopolies. Governments may require businesses to divulge data or reveal their models. Constant pressure and billion-dollar aspirations are driving churn. A significant abuse or AI-related scandal might halt innovation suddenly. Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent are rapidly expanding, establishing a new geopolitical front. The conflict can finish not with a winner, but with a reckoning. This isn't just about impersonal corporations, it's also personal. Demis Hassabis, a chess prodigy turned AI scientist, sold DeepMind to Google. Sadia Nadella is the calm strategist behind Microsoft's AI push. Elon Musk, the unpredictable wild card, is developing XAI to combat the very system he helped build. It can even become overly dramatic at times. Two CEOs who co-founded the same lab and now oversee rival empires at Google, DeepMind, and Microsoft are purportedly engaged in a silent duel about who actually defines the field. In the end, this conflict is as human as any previous one, driven by ambition, competitiveness, and the desire to be remembered as the one who constructed the future. You might think this is simply Silicon Valley drama, but it has a direct impact on your life. This fight shapes the tools you use, including search engines, apps, and devices. Prices may rise if AI becomes monopolized. Your data, privacy, and choices may all be compromised. The winner of this race will either generate or destroy the next generation of jobs. Perhaps most crucially, whomever controls AI will influence the, how you engage with information itself. This isn't just about which corporation makes more money, it's about who determines what's authentic, creative, and possible. Let's fast forward a few years. By 2030, imagine only two or three businesses controlling all foundation models, the AI brains that power all digital products. Every app, chatbot, and digital assistant draws from the same sources. The businesses that own them, perhaps Google, Microsoft, and one wildcard, have power over the digital world's language, data, and laws. Startups either rent access or fail. Governments struggle to regulate systems they don't fully grasp. What about consumers? They live in ecosystems that are so seamless that they are unaware they are trapped in. AI aids anticipate your every need, but only to the extent that their corporate creators allow. You gain convenience, but lose autonomy. That's how the world is being formed right now. One relationship, one chip deal, and one data set at a time. The real conflict in the secret war for artificial intelligence isn't simply about which company can build the smartest algorithm or who has the most advanced code. The deeper struggle is about something far more powerful, control, over the thoughts, beliefs, and behavior of modern society. We often think technology evolves to help humanity, but behind the scenes, AI development has become a new kind of global battlefield where ideas are the weapons. Every new data center that rises quietly on the edge of a city, every AI model trained using trillions of data points, and every strategic partnership signed between giant corporations is not just progress. It's a silent act of conquest. Governments, companies, and even unknown actors are fighting to decide who gets to shape the world we wake up in tomorrow. They know that whoever controls AAA will influence what we read, what we buy, what we fear, and even how we dream. Soon, our opinions may not come from our own minds, but from a system that has learned exactly how to push us, guide us, our private preferences, our weaknesses, our hopes. Everything becomes data to be mined and used. Privacy slowly shifts from a human right to a luxury, and most people won't even notice it disappearing. The line between what is public and what is personal becomes blurred until it's impossible to tell the difference. But what makes this war truly dangerous is not only the surveillance or manipulation, it's the psychological change that happens to people when they know that they are always being watched and measured. Humans act differently under a camera, even if that camera is invisible. When AI observes us, predicts us, and responds to us constantly, we start to reshape ourselves to match what the system expects. Our authentic behavior slowly fades. This conflict is not broadcast on TV. There are no loud explosions or marching armies. The real war is silent, 
happening inside computer chips and cloud servers. And unlike traditional wars, the winner won't be the side with the most weapons or soldiers. The true victor will be the company or nation that becomes so deeply embedded into our lives that we forget we were ever in a war at all. The AI war isn't slowing down and this is just the beginning. Subscribe now and stay one step ahead before the next move is made.